Question 11. Four consumers, A, B, C, and D, are each willing to pay $9, $8, $7, and $6, respectively, to buy one unit of some good. Four producers, E, F, G, and H, are able to produce one unit of that good at a cost of $3, $4, $5, and $6, respectively. At a price of $6, what is the combined total of consumer surplus and producer surplus in this market? Answer A, $8, B, $9, C, $10, D, $11, or E, $12. In this problem, we are looking for both the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. Since the price is at $6, the consumer surplus will be the summation of all the values above the price of $6. To find the total surplus, we need to calculate the consumer surplus. We can do this by the following calculations. $9 minus $6 equals $3. $9 minus $7 equals $2. $9 minus $8 equals $1. So the total consumer surplus is going to be $3 plus $2 plus $1 equals $6. Now we look over to the total, now we have to find the total surplus of the total producer surplus. And we can calculate this by the following numbers. $6 minus $3 equals $3. $6 minus $4 equals $2. $6 minus $5 equals $1. So then the total producer surplus is going to be $3 plus $2 plus $1 equals $6. How am I getting the producer surplus in this problem? Well, we can we can look back we can look back and see that the producers are E, F, G, and H, and they are producing one unit of good at the cost of $3, $4, $5, and $6. I didn't include $6 because $6 would equal 0. And you just subtract what you what you generally what you basically do is you subtract the price of $6 minus the three the cost that is the cost of producing one good one unit of that good for each each of the producers. So now we're going to look at the total surplus for both consumer surplus and producer surplus, which is $6 and $6 equaling out to be $12. Therefore, the correct answer is E, $12.